making bonjour dad. Hi guys, welcome to Family in the Face channel. My name is Janet and in today's video we will be making bunjal duck. Bunjal duck. Remember for all the ingredients and measurements that will be used in today's video will be listed down below in the description box. Do remember to like, comment, comment and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed for more videos. I have my duck which has already been prepared chicken boulon, adobo, accent, jeera, masala, salt, lala's curry powder, garlic, pimento pepper, weary weary pepper, celery leaves, onion, scallions, and bandana, also known as culantro. So the first thing we're going to do is get started on our green seasoning. So we're going to start chopping our green seasoning and adding it to our blender. My garlic. Here I'm only going to use half of my scallions for now. I'm going to add some water to help my blender. Now here is a look at the green seasoning. After I blend my green seasoning, I'm going to just add about this amount to the duck. And I'm going to mix this in. So I'm going to set this aside and we're going to get started on the next step. So the next step, I'm going to add my green seasoning to a plate. And then I'm going to add my curry powder, my masala, my jeera, accent, chicken, boulon, and my adobo. I'm going to mix this in. You want to make sure that this is well mixed in. You don't want to add any of the dry curry powder or masala to the oil. Otherwise, it can burn and your curry will have that bitter taste. And you don't want that. Here we go, guys. I'm going to get my stove lighted. So, guys, I'm going to turn my stove on to medium heat. And I forgot to mention, you will need some oil as well. So once your oil has heated up, you're gonna go ahead and add in your masala. Now we're gonna allow this to fry for about two minutes and I will show you when it's ready to add our duck. You're gonna make sure you stir this every now and then so it doesn't burn. It's been two minutes since my masala has been frying and I'm going to add in my duck now. So before I add any water to this guys, I am going to allow it to fry for a few minutes and I will show you just when it's ready to add that water. Just remember within that few minutes of frying, you will need to turn your curry every now and then so that it doesn't burn. Here's a look at my duck. After a few minutes of frying, we have to allow all the water that was released from the duck to evaporate before we add any other water to this. It's been 10 minutes already, guys, and I still have to allow my curry to fry some more. I still have a lot of water, as you can see. Here is a look at my curry, guys, after about 20 minutes of frying. All the water has evaporated already. It's time to add in our boiling water and allow this to boil until it is nice and soft where you can bite into it. 
going to add in my salt just before I add my water. And I'm going to start by adding 8 cups of water. Now that I add the water, I am going to raise the temperature of my stove to high. And we are going to allow this to cook. Here's a look at our curry, guys. It's boiling really, really nice. And I'm going to cover this again and I'm going to allow it to cook some more. Here is a look at my curry, guys. It's drying nicely. And I'm going to add in the other set of scallions that I kept from earlier. Now I'm going to cut into one and see that it's nice and soft. Yep. So, here you go. Nice and soft. I'm going to take this down now. My stove was on a high heat throughout the cooking process since I've added the water. So guys, here is the final results of our bunjal duck. Chloe's gonna go taste test it and she will let you know how good it tastes. Yummy. Good job, Mom. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, see you in my next video.